I have defeated this man in every possible fucking aspect. 525 ELO to 516 ELO. Bro, let me just go through this fucking game. Game review. Let me check. My accuracy isn't that good, but I, I assure you, I smoked this fucking... I'm not even gonna say it, man. This honorable gentleman. He tried his best in war. And I just did better. 69 point accuracy in fucking times. One great move. Free rook. Check. Take. 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 Resign. Oh my god, bro. Let's go through this fucking game real quick, boys. A, a weird one. I'm D4. I'm usually, no, I'm usually E4 guy. But I used to be D4, so I decided I'm gonna switch it up because I like playing chess differently. There's beauty in playing chess differently. It's like, why did you take the bishop? The bishop is worth more than... My goal was to take both the bishops, and this is exactly what I did. The bishop is worth more than the... Oh, far more than the, the knight. The knight, the bishop has power diagonally throughout the entire fucking chessboard, while the knight only has power in weird, short, random burst type moves, which I, which I dislike. And it takes quite usually a, a lot of moves to try to develop your bish, uh, your your knight in order to gain into a check position or is to get into a position where you can threaten multiple pieces. There are weird times where you can use knights to fork like crazy. Like I, I, in my last game with uh, with Jimmy, I used my knight. I'll just show you right now because I'm not a liar. I am not a liar. I need, I need that. Uh, I don't have unlimited game review because I'm a brokey. But like in a weird twist here, I did um, d4 again. I took his rook. Took his rook. Lol. And then check. Check. Move my develop my piece up. Develop my knight. Look, you see, look. I literally. I can. Like, it, it takes a long time. But if you like develop your knight up like this. Bing, 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 bing. Take. Check. Move. Check, move, take. So I forked him here for the queen. So that's like a weird scenario that can happen when you use your queen, your knight properly in a chess match. Oh, he's only he's only six hundred elo anyway. I had a very tense game here. This guy's probably higher than five hundred and six twenty-five elo, but he just doesn't grind enough. And then I move towards the thing. How was the winning move? This loses material. This puts queen on the safest square. D7. Okay, D7. D7 is the best, yeah. There's no what you've done. It's not how you play.